If you are new to this channel, I am Sumit Vansari, currently an MBBS intern at AIMS Nagpur. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Without any further ado, let's begin the discussion. A disclaimer before beginning this video is that if you haven't studied for a year or two at least, and you are expecting only the hard work that you do in these 50 days will change your score dramatically, you are a fool. This is not going to change your score dramatically. Let me tell you what benefits it will do you. If you are already scoring above 600, the last 50 day strategy will maintain your score at that level. If you are scoring below it, these 50 days can increase your score by 30 to 50 marks. With just 50 days remaining for the NEED 2024 and every aspirant working as hard as they can, burning the midnight oil, studying day and night, turning pages, solving MCQs and doing whatever they can by hook or crook to get a good rank in exam. I can go on and on but my words won't suffice the hard work that you guys are doing. Today I am here to guide you to what to do in the last 50 days of NEET UG exam to get a good rank. I got a good rank way back in NEET 2019 and got my dream college that is AIMS Nagpur. So can you if you work hard for the last 50 days. These 50 days can make or break your career. These 50 days can change your score completely. At the end of this video, I am going to give you an ultimate NEET UG 50 days challenge that if you complete, will increase your score by around 30 to 50 marks, guaranteed. So watch the complete video and stick till the end for the challenge. The first point in the discussion is completing the complete syllabus. You should have at least read it once or twice till now. And if you haven't, then I don't know what is going to happen in the final exam. The complete syllabus of NEET UG must be completed at least 10 times before you appear for the exam. In these last 50 days, try to revise it 5 to 10 times. I'll not go into the details of what you should read and what not, maybe in another video. I'm just scrapping the topic today. For biology, NCRT books, both class 11th and 12th, are the bible for the subject. I don't think that anything else other than NCRTs and previous year questions and a few topics related to that questions is necessary to score good in biology. You can score convenient 300 plus in biology just by reading NCRTs. For chemistry again, NCRTs are the bible. You should read NCRTs for chemistry too. But additional points uh, such as notes from your institute that you are studying or any other coaching that you have joined. Plus the previous year questions topics notes, you should revise them along with the NCRTs. But for physics, it's a completely different story. Since for physics, it's more of solving MCQs rather than reading it. The second thing that you should do is solving MCQs. You should solve at least 100 to 200 MCQs per subject per day in the last 50 days. Now it's a lot, but it's a peak time to study. You should give your max efforts in these last 50 days and that will definitely help you to score a really good rank. The most important thing in these last 50 days is solving previous year questions. If you are solving questions from MCQ textbook and it doesn't contain previous year questions, you are going to blunder in the final exams. You should solve previous year questions and these previous year questions are going to repeat themselves and give you an idea about how the question are being asked. Now I present you the last 50 days ultimate need UG challenge. If you complete this challenge, you will maintain a really high score if you are scoring already above 600. If you are scoring below it, you could increase your score by at least 30 to 50 marks. So let's begin it. First thing that you should do is revising the complete syllabus for at least 5 times within these 50 days. That gives you an average of 10 days per revision. This number must go up for subject like biology. Next, we have solving MCQs. You should solve at least 150 MCQs per subject per day. The third point in the 50 days challenge is to give grand test of complete syllabus. You must give at least 10 full syllabus tests and analyze your mistakes. The last point is being consistent. Since it's the last 50 days, you can make or break your result with working hard in these last 50 days. There must not be any cheat days for these 50 days and you would definitely score good. If you complete this challenge, I'm sure you are gonna score good and come to a premier institute like AIMS and next year maybe guide your juniors. With this, let's end this discussion. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe and share it with your friends.